and Lauren. This is the first time I'm doing this uh, YouTube video. I've never done a makeup tutorial. I've done like little videos on my Instagram, but I've never done a full fledged video before. I'm gonna do a look that is from Milk1422, who does face charts and really creative makeup looks, inspiration. Also, yes, my nail is broken. I'm a server and one is always broken. You will never see me with a full set of nails and if you do, it's, it's a good time. Um, so as you can see, I have nothing on my face. I did work all day, but I don't wanna talk about that. Um, I took my makeup off when I got home because I decided I wanted to do this to make my day better. So I have really dry skin. So I use a fresh sea berry moisture, like oil, really moisture in my face. Rub that shit in. My face was dry, like right here. And of course, I was breaking out the other day right here. This is just a mark I've always had on my face, like since I was little. Sometimes it's worse than others, but it, it's there. Um. I was doing there. So normally I use ColourPop concealer, but because I'm a lazy bitch and I ran out and haven't ordered more yet, I have NYX, the green color correcting or red correcting, whatever it is, and the banana yellow. Let's get some goop on there. I mostly just put this on the super red spots on my face. See, because this is green, you want to blend it out as much as you can while having it still cover your flaws. I use this packed, pressed powder, but this one is out, so I'm gonna open the new one. Uh, brush a little of the excess off. See, I'm like not fully Shrek anymore. I'm like a half-blown Fiona now. And normally I use Cheap ass foundation or cheap ass powder foundation, but I'm out of pretty much both. So, this was a good time to film this video and make really good decisions. Should blend a little better, but what can you do? Plan better. That's what I can do. I know. It's fine. I'm just gonna blend violently. Blend violently. Like I hate my face. It's a very nice foundation, especially for like a drugstore one. It's one of my favorites. I don't like a lot of stuff on my face. more detail about the look. So the look I chose is by Melk1422, who is a genius. And it's like a red eye with like a blue, like, like turquoise highlight in the center of the eye with like a black lip. And as a person who wears only black ever, I love a good black lip because who doesn't love a good witchy vibe? No one, nobody, nobody doesn't love a good witchy vibe. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna pack on some powder under my eye to uh, set this shit over my gross skin. 
before I contour it. Also, my voice is super croaky today. Um, I don't really have an excuse, it just is. Sorry. Uh, ColourPop, it's again. Chia Chipo. So all my brushes are like yellow, oh, or like AliExpress. Like, the only nice brush I have is my Anastasio Brow brush. So, that's what I feel about expensive brushes. Also, it's not like I've ever had expensive brushes to like know the difference. So like, yeah. Anyone out there wants to send a bitch some fucking nice ass brushes, she would love it. She'd be me. Me. Send them to me. a smaller brush for my nose. Oh, my favorite time. I'm done. Almost out. Oh, also, yeah. But Anastasia. Bro, why would it focus? I don't know. And Ash Brown. like a really ashy brown, so you, can you even tell? Where does my eyebrow end and Anastasia begin? No one will know. Except for the people who watched the beginning half of this video. I'm sorry to those of you who have already watched this long. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Well, makeup-wise, I know what I'm doing because I do this every fucking day, but this video-wise, I have no clue. Also, yes, these are like two or three week old eyelash extensions, please. Well, I'm sure someone will leave me a comment about how gross they are because there's like gaps everywhere. But uh, I swear, it's the first time I've had eyelash extensions. They were amazing. And then I spent a week in Vegas in the desert and they aren't so amazing anymore. Also, I do go into the center of your brow. Everyone says not to leave the center of your brow alone, but as you can see, my eyebrows are bald, so I fucked up my sharp ass brow. <laughs> That's pretty much how my whole day has been, honestly. Just, I think something's going great, and then someone pulls the rug out from under me. Also, the eyebrows in the milk face chart were much darker than mine or much darker than the way I normally draw them but I'm still gonna go in with like the base of my eyebrow color and then just deepen it with cooler tones because I do already use like an ash brown so we're done OS. I assume it's an O, it doesn't look like a zero, it's very wide. Um, and I'm gonna pick a very cool toned dark brown and just thicken the fuck up my brows. That's not where that goes. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm a crazy person. So, why can't I ever find courses in front of me? Why would it be anywhere else? Three dollars, sir. Maybe five, I don't know. I forgot. Kind of just put things in my cart. 
and then whenever I feel ballsy, hit purchase all. So, this bitch, red ochre, it's like a great corner color for a red eye. <laughs> My phone fully died. Um, yeah! Didn't get a warning. Would have been nice. Or I probably just didn't see it because I'm fucking blind. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna continue with uh, Red Ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette. Cause she dark, she red, and she cute. She's in like a fluffy, curved, a brush I just blend like it's your fucking job also yeah mid makeup you're always gonna look like a crackhead like what about it I keep them in the boxes because they're like felt and my roommate old roommate had one and hers got really dusty because she took it out of the box. So I don't wanna be a dusty ass palette as heaven bitch. My other Morphe palette, because I love them so much. 35U. No idea what that has to do with the actual color. Um gonna go in with the lighter shade of red. Also the reddest red that I think I have. Also one of my favorites. The other one's a little darker. I'm gonna use that on my eyelid. And of course, because I'm such a lazy bitch, like I've been saying, I use the uh, same brush for two different shades, or all three shades actually, I forgot I used the third shade, uh, of red that I used, because I've got time for like eight different brushes. Keep that palette out because I am definitely going to use it later because it has a really pretty blue that I'm going to use for this shit. Um, I'm also going to use this fluffy black brush to buffer the edges of my eyeshadow so that they blend a little better because I want to make this fucking blue really. Pop. Use NYX eyeshadow babe. color a lot and it's so bright and so blue if you couldn't tell I'm clearly not going to be a monetized channel um, I swear and uh, probably other reasons but we'll get into those later we just met Diamond one, number three, is everything, as you will soon see. I'm just gonna shake a little bit into the lid and then just pack it on with a brush because it's so fine and so glittery, it tends to stick to whatever eyeshadow I put it on. So, like with the pigment, without the pigment. Oh hell yeah. You can see that sparkle. Alright. Alright. I 
like to put a fuck ton of drench myself in setting spray before highlight. And now the milk used the pink highlight, so I'm going to use Moonchild. Which is the pinkest highlighter that I have. I have other pink ones. And I use my finger for highlight. I don't know why, it just works best on my skin. I find that brushes just don't really have the same effect. But I want them to, you know? I do, of course, have black lip liner because, you know, but it's really good. Now, she's lined. It's not good, but like it's whatever. And I use a lot of NYX, just noticing that now. But it's cheap and it's good and it's close to my house. lashes or like fake lashes but because I still have my ever growing out eyelash extensions I will just put mascara on these lower lashes because you know what can you do when you didn't plan ahead and now you're doing this makeup tutorial and now you just got mascara on your eye and the final Thank you for watching this video. Now that I almost ruined my whole life and ruined the last, at least the last hour that I spent doing this. Um, yeah. I hope everybody liked it. And if you didn't, keep it to your damn self. Um, maybe if this goes well, I had fun. So, thank you for watching me attempt this amateur makeup tutorial yeah but um yeah I also need to uh, do my hair because it's a weird like gray green blue whatever you want to call it it was blue and now it's washing out and it's like a weird in between color so ignore that I like it I like the finished product I think it came out good Bye.